The weather improved overnight, so the Grand Challenge went ahead. The Challenge had three teams participating each day. We spoke to a judge to find out what the Grand Challenge goals were. So the purpose of the Grand Challenge today is to have air, sea and land autonomous vehicles operating at the same time. I think it's been interesting to see uh, the transition from the individual trials where the teams are just required to operate by themselves to now try and integrate together to work as a team, so doing the combined land, sea and air. So it's presented different challenges. There are given tasks that have to be achieved, namely identifying and locating missing workers and then securing valves for pipes that may be leaking. So the land vehicle will go in the building, look for the worker and identify a leaking pipe and the undersea vehicle will turn a valve to secure that pipe. At the same time, they have to communicate back and forth for the land vehicle to tell the undersea vehicle which pipe is leaking on the land to secure underwater. The air vehicle also goes to help and locate the missing workers and make a map of the surrounding area. The first team to compete was the Cobham, ISEP and University of Girona partnership. We spoke to the three team leaders to find out how the challenge went for them. Regarding the sea domain of the Grand Challenge, our feeling is that we did a great job also with the, with the land and air. We were able to cooperate to turn the valve with, with Cofan. We are really happy we were able to automatically detect the worker attached to the, to the first area structure. We are really happy for the results. We from Team Copem as well are very happy about the cooperation. I think it was uh, we did all a great job. I'm also happy in the competition went great. We were able to find the missing worker. Everything looks good. The next to take part were the two Ensta teams. With day one now finished, the three remaining teams are eagerly waiting for their turn. Let's see what happens tomorrow.